We are T9, we are the cardiac monitoring team. We created a wearable device that can record ECG data from a person and try to move it through an app. Uh, from there, we can uh, do analysis using a machine learning model, a ResNet 18 model, that analyzes the data and shows you if you have uh, atrial fibrillation or a normal heart pattern. Uh, here is the wearable that we created. You can see it's made out of such fabric with Velcro that can, uh, so that it can fit for whatever person's body size. You can see that one, one electrode is attached right here, another electrode is right there, and another electrode is right here. Uh, please demonstrate the uh, stretchiness on the Velcro. So ideally this would be go under the shirt, and then you can put a shirt over it or whatever well, uh, over the person. This is one. Here in the back, you can see our microprocessor, and that's what sends what is our analog to digital converter, which converts from our uh, ECG, date, ECG sensor to convert it to the app to the microprocessor, which sends it to our app wirelessly through Wi-Fi. Uh, here you can see our battery pack. It is two 1,000 milliamp hour uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries, and here you can see our uh, boost converter, which uh, which converts. The, the battery from a 3.3 volts to a 5 volts and powers the entire system. So once the data is being collected through our ECG and sent through our microprocessor, it gets sent through our app. Our app is the Xerinth app. So once you go through there and you are able to log in, you can see that new device, our product, our, our project is called new device. And from here, you can see our app and it will start recording the data and, and show the data that is being transmitted. As you can see, data has now started to show up on our app. There is a slight delay at the beginning, but everything goes well. Uh, we also have space for our temperature sensor and our accelerometer data. So once we're able to get those, those sensors working onto our app, we can also transmit it using our microprocessor.